Hello and welcome to the very first broadcast of Something's Brewing at the Chamber. My name is Jessica Linder Gallo and I'm the president and CEO of the Aurora Regional Chamber of Commerce and your host for today's show. If you're sitting at your computer right now wondering what the heck is something brewing at the chamber and you're furiously searching your inbox for the last newsletter trying to figure out what you missed, let me stop you right there. You haven't missed anything yet. But before we go any further, I'd like to introduce my co-host for today's show. She's your very own chamber board chair, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Marissa Majisi. Thanks so much for joining us today, Marissa. Oh, I'm. thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here today and join you on your first What's first Brewing episode. at the Chamber. Yes, we couldn't think of a better host to launch this series with, so we're really excited um, to have you with us for this. Well, thank you again. So I was thinking, let's get to the question what's on everybody's mind. What is Something's Brewing at the Chamber? Absolutely. So Something's Brewing at the Chamber is a brand new program for us. Um, it was actually created so that people aren't missing out on anything that's going on at the Chamber. This is a show where we get to keep all of you, our members, and the business community up to date on what's brewing here at the Chamber and in the community throughout the year. Yes, I love that because there really has been a lot going on throughout this Chamber year in this diff different year that we have. We have a new CEO. We have a added some new board members to our slate. Uh, we have new content and programs that have been benefiting members during this pandemic and aiding each other in building mm -hmm. resilience. Um, our new branding is beautiful. Which we're going to talk more about. <laughs> <laughs> and we continue to deepen the relationships with our members more than ever this year. Absolutely. Really, if you start to make a list of what's gone on this year, it doesn't really seem possible that it covers just one year. And honestly, the programs that are coming down the pike are really just the beginning, which is what we're going to talk about today. Um, so as we roll out these new initiatives, I think that members are going to hear, while there's so much new and exciting happening, um, there's also some things that really haven't changed. And the most important of those is our commitment. It's our commitment to the success of our members, the business community, and the greater rural region. So I hope that um, comes through for everyone in this broadcast. Oh, I agree. I, I think it's a good point to, good to point out that we have amazing long-term board members and amazing long-time members mm -hmm. that have been renewing with us even during this pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. And it's been amazing to see those members continuing to come in because we know times are tough right now. There's a lot going on in the world. So if you were one of those members, I'm going to say pause and say thank you so much for sticking with us. But OK, I am dying to get started on today's topic. You ready? <laughs> yeah. OK, so here we go. Welcome to the show where we keep you up to date on what's brewing at the chamber and in the community. Grab a cup of whatever's brewing new year and let's get started. Mm. <laughs> awesome. So this summer we launched a brand new look, a new brand for the chamber, which Marissa teased out there a little bit. Um, and we want to talk about it. So hopefully everybody has already seen it. Um, but this is just a more modern look and feel for the organization. We live in such modern, connected world that we really wanted our look as an organization to reflect that. So that was a really fun um, process to get to go through um, so as we developed it. Um, it also brought together components from around the region. So as a chamber, we serve the entire greater Aurora region um, and we wanted it to look that way. So if you'll notice that if you look at the colors around the communities around us, our logo maybe accidentally picks up some of those colors. <laughs> <laughs> I very much like how it ties in the different, you know, especially North Aurora into Aurora. Mm -hmm. um, our dots represent the lights for the city of lights, which I think is a great way to add that. And it's vibrant, it's fresh, it's new. Yeah. It, it, we needed a new look. Yeah, absolutely. It, hits, it definitely hits the times, right? <laughs> um, so we love this new look and we've been having a lot of fun with it. Hopefully um, you've already noticed for those of you watching. But I think my favorite part of the rebrand um, isn't even just about the look. Um, it's that really, I mean, we've joked, we're more than just a pretty face, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, we're, we're that too. We are, we're that too. We'll take it, we'll take it. Um, but in all seriousness, the board has worked really hard um, to make this rebrand um, more than just the look. So we started after the, the new look that you just saw to really think about our organization, spend some time thinking about where we've been the last hundred plus years as a chamber um, and who we want to be in the future. And we felt that the next step in that process, the next step in our rebrand was to visit our core values. So Marissa, do you want to tell everybody a little bit about the process and what the board went through? Yes, I would love to share this. Um, you know, 
it was a it was an excellent process for the board. We knew we were going into strategic planning this year and with our rebrand combined with the new leadership, we wanted to look holistically at our mm -hmm. next hundred years. Mm -hmm. That starts with looking within. Um, so we brought it and we discussed it as a board together. Our first thought was we want to think about the members in our process. Yes. We thought about who we want to be, but more importantly, who we are and who who our members are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in the next, it was the whole board. I mean, they drove right into it. In a sense, they got on board <laughs> with continuing to better this organization. Absolutely. And it, it was really fun to get to watch that from my side of things, too, because you're right. The board really was working hard to to get on board with it and to really think about the members. I love getting to see that. Um, but I also kind of nerd out a little bit, if you will, on this <laughs> process because I love core values. They can communicate so much to um, a potential member, a current member. They really tell you what to expect from an organization. And Absolutely. I think they get overlooked a lot. Absolutely. <laughs> my, yeah, they do. My favorite coffee shop um, in the town that my husband and I moved from had their core values posted on the counter when you ordered every day. It was my favorite thing to get to see that. So um, we wanted to do that here with our chamber. We want to bring these values to life. And hopefully, um, as we get to talk more about that, our members will see it. I I agree. So let's take them through the core values, shall we? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so first core value is lead with passion and energy. We believe as an organization that engaging with our members in the community is really key to our mutual success. It's our role as the chamber to lead our communities to new heights. When we engage with energy and passion for our vision to be a catalyst for business success, we believe that people are going to return that energy and be equally as passionate about engaging with us to build a stronger region. Excellent. Our second one is make big impacts. In today's world, we are constantly connected. It's easy to busy our minds and our hands. At the Roar Regional Chamber, busy is not enough for us, nor is it our goal. We work strategically to make big impacts in our communities. We work to impact business success and see our region thrive. Yeah. And we also, in doing that, put people first. So we believe that we're better together. We believe that when we put people and solutions at the heart of our work, when we prioritize our members and the people behind those members um, and the support that they seek above all else, we believe that we are putting people first and working together. And when we do that, like you said, Marissa, we make the biggest impact for our community. And following that with making people first, we value and embrace diversity. Mm -hmm. We live and work in one of the most diverse areas in Illinois, and we believe that this is an asset. It is part of who we are in the greater Aurora area, and it is part of who we will be tomorrow. We value diversity of people, businesses, backgrounds, and thought. When we put people first and come together as one region, we are our strongest. Absolutely. I love that one. Mm -hmm. um, and our last core value, innovate always, never stop learning. So we're never satisfied with OK. And we want you to know that. We're a team of lifelong learners who are constantly seeking innovative solutions to problems. We value education. We value diverse wisdom. Um, and the wisdom that others have to offer us. And we are committed to never stop learning and always keep innovating in our work. So I think two things are really important with these core values. Um, and that's one, what does it mean for me as a member? That's always my first thought, right? <laughs> Absolutely. As a member, these core values are a promise in some ways. Yeah. This is what you can expect from your chamber. And since we were thinking so much about our membership and writing them, we hope these really resonate with you and make you proud to be a part of this organization. I could not agree with that more. And really building on that same thought, I hope our members and businesses and anyone who interacts with us, I hope they feel these values. Um, we want to live these. So I hope right now, even watching this video, I hope you hear <laughs> the passion, the energy. So if you are falling asleep right now, we are not doing our values. <laughs> not doing our job. <laughs> We're not doing our job. Um, so we hope that's coming through. And I hope you guys see as we talk about what's brewing at the chamber um, in this video and in future videos, um, that people and members really are at the core of what we do. Um, and we want you to see those values in action. Absolutely. So after that, I need a quick <laughs> caffeine break. That's a lot to take in. So let's have a quick moment here and take a drink before we keep going. Join mm. you. Okay. Awesome. So we told you at the beginning of this video that we have so much in the pipeline right now. And we can't really fit it all in today. Plus, we want you to come back and watch more of our videos. <laughs> so we're not going to tell you all today. Um, but we can certainly give you some sneak peeks. 
we live in such a digital world, especially now. And there are some benefits we experience because of that. I don't know about you, but I love my online shopping. I love my online, my online grocery shopping, my subscriptions to everything. It, it gives us access to everything at very reasonable prices too, especially when you have a subscription. I, I thoroughly enjoy mine. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. And everything is able to be put on subscription, right? Everything. Um, no, it's so true. Um, and so much of our lives really is, it's in the palm of our hand. We've got it right here. It's automated, it's quick, it's easy to connect with. Um, and what we've been talking about at the Chamber is that we want your membership to be that easy too. The rest of the world is, we want you to be able to connect with us that easily. So we're gonna have some new digital offerings coming to you this fall and this winter that are gonna bring um, not only that ease of access, um, but they're also going to bring new opportunities and highlight some of our members. So a few of those options you can look for, there's some new payment options coming out. So Marissa talked about her subscriptions, keep an eye out. Uh, there might be something like that coming your way for the chamber. Um, so we do have some new payment options that are going to allow you to pay throughout the year, have auto pays, really easy access. Um, so that's going to be coming soon. We also are going to have opportunities to really showcase experience. We're going to have guest blogs, resource center. We have some incredible incredible expertise in our membership. I was like, this is one of my favorite parts. Yes, yeah. yeah. So getting to really showcase that, I think we're going to have some fun mm -hmm. with it. Um, and we have some really fun projects. Uh, this next one is really what I'm, one of the ones I'm most excited about. <laughs> so we have a podcast coming soon. I'm so excited for this one. So we're going to be highlighting stories of businesses and expertise in our region with that podcast. It's going to be really fun. No, it is. Um, what I really love is that all of this has been supported by our members too. We asked them, mm -hmm. what is it? last year, the yep. beginning of last year, last year. Um, to make voluntary contributions as part of their membership to upgrade our technology and the programs that we deliver. And majority have all contributed to this, which has made it even more beneficial and yeah. just more exciting because we're able to revamp everything together. Absolutely. And just to have that buy-in from our members, yes. like you guys are why we get to do this yes. right here in front of you. Um, so yes, absolutely. And we have another project we haven't talked about yet. Yeah. So we haven't even said what the project is that I'm most excited about, but I know Jessica's dying to talk about it. So I'm I think gonna, we need I'm a gonna, drum roll. I think we do need a drum roll. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> We have a new website. <laughs> we are so excited. New website coming in September. Um, it is so user friendly. And that is, I'm so excited about that part amongst <laughs> other things. So user friendly, so many new tools, you guys. So um, there's probably going to be a something's brewing video about that website in the very near future. Um, so keep an eye out. Really, our new site has some great tools. So it's got an upgraded directory. So you're going to see better search engine optimization as a member. Um, and the community is going to be able to use it a bit more too. So we have new community pages with hot deals that our members have, shop local page that is really robust. Can't wait to launch that. Um, job postings are um, a page we've had before, but it also gets a little bit of a robust Absolutely. makeover in this new site. Um, there's going to be easy access to the login area for our members. And that login area itself has had a little bit of a makeover with tons of new tools. So we now have a resource center in the member information center, which is going to have some great um, information and some of that expertise we're talking about mm -hmm. inside of it. Uh, a store and make purchasing some of the chamber options really easy, enhanced directory listings. There's so much, but you have to come back to hear about all that. <laughs> I'm not going to give it all away right now. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. We, so we really have had a lot brewing. This has been a crazy year. Um, I told you I needed more of this coffee to, to, get, <laughs> to, to manage through this. <laughs> yes. There has been a lot through this year and a lot just on our new podcast or new programs. programs. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's been very impactful work. And as a member myself, I'm just really energized by what's happening here. And we can't thank you enough also for your efforts oh my gosh. that you and your staff have provided for us. It's so good to hear you say that, Marissa, because that's, that's what we work for is to be able to serve our members um, every day throughout the year. And really, I hope that's what came across to everybody watching today. So we are so passionate about what we get to do here at the Chamber, and we're so excited to be working for you, even in these really, really tough times that we've all been going through. Um, and we've certainly gotten to talk to you a lot about those in the last few months. So it has been something we've been really looking forward to to bring you some new options to be able to promote our members even better and help you continue to get through this as we look towards recovery, economic recovery. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs>
All right. Well, Marissa, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been awesome to have you as my very first co-host. <laughs> I'm very privileged to be the first co-host. <laughs> Put a plaque up somewhere in the office. Right? <laughs> no, I'm hoping the next ones after me don't make me look bad. I'll, <laughs> I'll, pick, no, a, I'll it, pick accordingly. Pick accordingly. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, and I thank you again for having me. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. We'll tune in next time as we talk about our recently released regional insights report, business impact of COVID-19. We're going to talk about what your business may want to know and be thinking about as you head into the fourth quarter this year. So tune in next time. Can't wait to see you again. Cheers.